Planet Dolan. From the function of goosebumps to whether bacteria can have bacteria, we answer several of your most burning questions about life. Hello, my name is Doopy, and I'll be reading out the questions and answers. I'm Danger Dolan, and I had a blow. <gasps> You okay, Dolan? Uh, oh yeah, I'm fine. On with the show. Uh, okay. Fusion X963 asks, can a tree without leaves still produce oxygen? Can a person breathe without lungs? I don't see many corpses blowing air in and out. Besides Nixium. Trees are a little different to people. How so? Well, for one, they're made out of wood. Yeah, and? I was still a guy with a wooden leg. That doesn't mean he's part tree, Dolan. Whoa, you don't even know the guy. Trees produce oxygen as a waste product during photosynthesis, and leaves are essential for photosynthesis to occur. Therefore, a tree without leaves would not produce oxygen. Don't worry though, there's plenty of oxygen in our atmosphere, and some plants, like evergreens, keep their leaves throughout the year. Ike Elex asks, What would happen if Mars was as close as our moon? If Mars was that close to us, we'd have to put up with those Martians playing their damn outer space voodoo instruments in the early hours of the morning. <coughs> oh, there has to be a way to stop this noise. We could invade Mars. Oh, good idea, Doopy. I'll prep the flying saucer. If Mars was as close to our planet as the moon, it would slow the Earth's rotation, making days last longer. It would also have a significant effect on tidal forces, causing massive waves to ravage the planet. The good news is, if we survive that catastrophe, the view of Mars would be lovely. Attention Martians! We do not come in peace! <laughs> oh, gross. Nicholas Hubert asks, Do animals abandon their young if they're touched by another creature? <laughs> That's like when you have some chips and you double dip the sauce. You don't want another creature's germs around you. Just, just throw them out. Dolan, I am never letting you near my pets. But I am delightful. Most animals will go to great lengths to ensure the survival of their young, and there are very few that will abandon them. For instance, some birds may leave their nest if disturbed by humans before their eggs hatch, but after hatching, it's very unlikely. An exception to this are rabbits, who will sometimes abandon their nest in young if another creature makes mild contact with them. That's so sad. Shell Doggo asks, How much of your body could you lose and survive? This one time, I lost my hat. And that was nearly fatal. I was taken to the hospital where they stabilized me. They were able to graft on a donut hat. Luckily, it was germ free. Oh, I think I get what you're saying. One time, I lost a pearl necklace and I thought I would just die. Excuse me? That's not the same. I literally almost died. Look, I still have the stitches. Ew. The human body consists of several biological systems which are essential for us to live, such as the nervous and circulatory system. There are also five vital organs that are needed for survival. These are the brain, heart, liver, lungs, and kidneys. The amount of blood in your body must also remain above 60% or you will die. If you can keep all of these things stable, then I guess you wouldn't need much else. Although, I wouldn't recommend trying it. Empathy Niter asks, How do goosebumps work? Goosebumps? What's that? Some kind of disease with goose bites you? No, Dolan. They're the little bumps on your skin that you get when you're cold or startled. Bumps on your skin? Humans are so strange. The original function of goosebumps was to create insulation by raising our body hair. This function has become useless because we now lack a coat of hair, but for many animals, it's still helpful. In addition to providing insulation, it also helps animals during threatening situations as it makes them appear bigger and more intimidating to their attacker. Martin Keurig asks, what would happen if there was no dirt on Earth? 
Well, everything would be a lot cleaner, wouldn't it? No mud in your shoes, no rubbish in the bins, no disgusting germ-ridden animals. Are you germophobic? What? No. I like Germans. So you just don't like animals? I don't hate them. I, I just wish they weren't swarming in bacteria. Like Melissa. I'm pretty sure it was her who gave me this cold. You don't think it's bird flu, do you? Dirt is dead soil, although it can be revitalized with organic matter. If there was no soil on Earth, then the short answer is that most life would die out. Soil contains microorganisms, decaying organic matter, insects, and acts as storage for water as well as being a medium for plant growth. The chef cat asks, does bacteria have bacteria? Oh, it keeps getting worse! Now bacteria has bacteria! It already killed off the Martians. Sorry about that, by the way. <laughs> but Dolan, some bacteria is good for you. Siding with the enemy, are you? I think a purge is needed. Time to burn away those impurities. Oh. There are some predatory bacteria that attack and eat other forms of bacteria, such as Bedelovibrio bacteriovirus. They are extremely useful as they attack pathogens that are the cause of diseases in humans. Bacteria can also be infected by a type of virus known as bacteriophage, also known as bacteria eater. Bloodshot2x asks, what does the sun look like from the inside? Pretty bright. You know what it's like when you look directly at the sun? Imagine that, but a billion times worse. Also, you're dead and vaporized now. It's fun. If you visit the sun, remember to take your sunglasses. Oh, come on, doopy, as if that were to help. Don't be silly. You need sun lotion, too. The temperature at the heart of the sun can reach more than 15 million degrees Celsius. If you could survive the intense heat and gravity, I'd imagine that the core of the sun would be very bright as it is here that nuclear fusion occurs. This is the process where hydrogen atoms are compressed and formed together, creating helium. Charlie Greengrove asks, what would happen if nobody felt pain? I already don't feel pain. Check this out. Oh my God, Dolan, why would you do that? Are you okay? Oh uh, yeah. I'm fine, but just for a laugh, just, just for a chuckle, could you call an ambulance? It might at first seem nice to imagine a world where we didn't feel pain. However, pain is necessary for us to detect harm to our bodies. If we were unable to feel it, there's a good chance that we could die from a wound we didn't notice or develop other problems from repeated minor injuries. X Ruby X asks, if the Earth was the same size as the Sun, how long would it take to walk around it? Is he going to be okay, Doctor? Ah, uh, first the cold and now this. Melissa? Dolan, stop messing around. Uh, I'm not... I'm not gonna make it. You're fine. Come on, we need you to answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop. The average walking speed is about 2.5 miles per hour. The circumference of the Earth is 24,901 miles. If you were able to fully walk the circumference without stopping, it would take 415 days. If the Earth was as large as the Sun, its circumference would be 2,713,406 miles. Without stopping, it would take 45,223 days, or about 124 years, to walk fully around the planet. Looks like Gooby's here to see you. Hey, baby. Are you serious? Plant Dolan is now a video game. Play as Dolan, Melissa, and the rest of the PD crew collecting shinies to unlock skins and power-ups. Download from the Android or iOS app store and start racing today for free.